So now let's see how we can create and use table styles inside of Adobe in copy. So to create table style, I'm just going to select this table right here, which I have, and then I'm going to go on to windows right here. So once I go into windows, I can go into styles and over here you can see that there's table styles as an option. So once I go in here, then right now the basic table style is applied. So what you can do is you can change the table outlook and then create a new table style as well. So let's say for example, what I can do is I can go over here onto table. I can go into table option. Let's say for example, I'm going to add in alternative fills right here. So once I go over there, what I can do is I can have something like every other row and I can change the color. So what I can do is I can change this into a table style. So my table is selected. So I'm going to go to windows and then I'm going to go on to uh, styles right here. And then I'm going to go to table styles. So once I go there, what I can do is I can press the plus icon right here and a new table style is created. So there's the basic style you can see is plain. And if I were to choose this, now a style has been created. So let me just go to basic style and add in a new style out of this. So if I were to go to style one, two, you can see that two is the copy of basic table. So what I can do now is I can right click and I can go into edit table style two. So once I do that, what happens is that I can go around and change the table style. So over here, let me just go to table setup and I can change the width right here. So I can just enable the preview to see how that looks up, looks like. So I'm just going to increase this out and then I can go around with row strokes as well and column strokes. So if I were to go around and go to alternate rows, then I can enable that as well. But I don't want that in my case. So I'm just going to go around into fill and then I'm going to have every other uh, other row fill. So let's say I want to have this color and over here I want sign color. So uh, the tint is going to be somewhere around 10% just like this. So once I do that, you can see that this is how it looks like and this is the table style. So I'm just going to go around into uh, table setup. Let's say I want to change out the color as well, something to like green right here. So you can see that it's very colorful as of now, just like this. And you can also go over here and there's cell styles and everything else that you can work with. Like you can work around with footer rows and everything else and uh, assign that as well. So you can define a new cell style and work around with the cell style as well. And we're going to talk more about cell style uh, in the other lesson. So you can see that you can add in diagonal lines, you can preview this out as well and work around with them as well and define a certain style for them. And press OK and there's the table style as you can see right here. So there's table style one, there's basic table and the style that you want to add in. So I'm just going to choose table style two. So if you want to add in another table, for example, I'm just going to press enter and insert another table. So I'm just going to insert the table, press OK and here's another table. So let us apply the table style now. So to do that, I'm just going to go around into uh, the windows option right here, windows menu, and then I'm going to go to style on table style and select the style and that style has been applied over here as you can see. And that is how you can create and use table styles inside of Adobe in copy. So if you guys learn something as always, and as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.